rallies on TV, the same face, different places. But what the media does not talk about is how campaign coverage all comes together. From Milwaukee to Minneapolis to Reno to Denver, our weekend would not have happened without transportation. Let's start with the Burn Force One. It's not the official name, but I thought it rolled off the tongue. The Sanders camp chartered a flight crew to carry Sanders, his wife, 14 media, and Secret Service. We'll get to them in a bit. I think we have the momentum with us. I think we're going to do very, very well next Saturday. The cool part about that is that this gave us unprecedented access. When Sanders wanted to say anything to the public on a whim, he went through us first. Oh, and the airplane food? Not too bad, Bernie. Not too bad. And this is where we spend a lot of our time. It's the press bus following Bernie Sanders wherever he goes with a Secret Service escort. And I mean wherever, whenever. Sure, the rallies were all scheduled, but a lot of stops along the way were not. <laughs> like this one in St. Paul, Minnesota. Bernie wanted a sandwich, so when the motorcade stopped, all 14 of us, plus the Secret Service, ran into a little cafe. Bernie sat down, we all flocked around him, bumping into each other, struggling to get a shot of the poor man trying to order a sandwich. Well, it's no secret the senator has garnered quite the following, and with it comes Secret Service. Every morning, our bags had to be sniffed by canine teams, whom I ended up making friends with. Agents never let us out of their sight and made it clear that the motorcade stops for no one. Well, only one. We're going to surprise them here in Nevada. Thank you all. It was a weekend of constant movement, chasing politicians and a lot of coffee. But along the way, we saw some breathtaking scenery, made time to see some familiar faces, and had a fun first swing on the campaign trail. 